Thanks for checking out Sortly. In today's video, we're going to walk over user permissions and how to set permissions for specific folders, as well as give access to specific users to access individual folders. To go ahead and access our user profile, we're going to go up to the settings panel. We're going to click on settings again, and we'll see a section here that says manage team. Now under manage team, you're only going to be able to access this view first and foremost if you're an owner level user. Currently, admins and team members will not have access to this view, so you'll need to reach out to your owner level user if you need access to your account. Once you have sent invites and accepted an invite into the system, you have the ability to set up user permissions for specific folders. If we go to the invite user tab here, we can click on this panel and it's going to give us a little pop-up window where we can fill in the user's information, including their first name, their last name, their email, an optional phone number, and then their user role. Now, there's three different roles currently offered within Sorely. You currently would have an admin, an owner, and a team member. Owner level users and admins are going to be very similar in their uh, specific role settings. Uh, however, owner level user has access to everything, including billing information, subscription details, company uh, details, and then the ability to add user seats. If you're an admin level user, you'll have access to all folders, but you won't have access to anything that is billing or company related. So no billing details, uh, no way to manage your team, and the company details tab in the settings, you wouldn't have access to that. However, you would have access to every folder by default. Um, so those are the two main settings that would have access to everything. The third and final setting currently is the team member level user. This user specifically has more restrictive access. You can actually delegate whether they have view only access or they have can edit access and to what root level folder they would have access to. So in our case, in this account, we have four high level root folders or direct folders at the top level. We have an HQ folder, we have a district folder, we have an office folder, and then a warehouse folder. You'll notice to the left of these folders, there is a checkbox. So in this case, if I wanted to give access to only a specific folder, I could click on that toggle so I can enable it for the HQ folder. And you'll notice on the right hand side, there's the ability to click on add. So when you click on add, it's going to automatically set it to a can edit permission, but you have the ability to select on this drop down to select from can view, can edit or revoke access. Now the way that this would work is essentially at this point here, you have the ability to edit that HQ file only. You will not be able to see the district, the office, or the warehouse folder. You will only see the HQ folder and have access to that folder and the subfolders inside of that folder specifically. On the right hand side, we can make this either a can view, meaning they can view all the inventory in that folder, but they can't edit anything about that. Or you can set them to a can edit setup where they have full access to edit those items, modify quantity, move them around, etc. The last option here is to revoke access. So you could remove access to that folder by clicking revoke and they would no longer be able to see that folder or the folder that you initially delegated based on this parameter. Now again, in this case, if we only have this folder set up, they will not see any of the additional subfolders down below. You can always click on additional folders and then click on the add and set them to like a view only as an example. Uh, but keep in mind, if they are currently set to can edit, they can only move items to folders that they have the edit ability function for. Once that's all set up, you can send them an invite and then they're only going to have access to that folder that you've delegated. Now let's assume that you wanted to change their access at a later point in time. You can absolutely do that. So you can jump back into this profile, you can select additional field that they want to have access to, you can click on add, set their parameter, and then they will automatically have access to that new folder at that time. Hope this gives you a high level overview of user permissions. We have some new exciting features coming down the pipeline for this, and we're excited to share those with you soon. Thanks.